This week, 165 Chinese tourists arrived in Tunis on a direct flight from Beijing. This is a very special day. We have welcomed our Chinese guests. Tunisia is one of the best destinations in Africa and the Mediterranean basin. Chinese travelers have visited the Bado Museum. They admired the largest collection of mosaics in the world and listened to tour guides recount the history of the North African state. I know the famous people from the from 2000 ago. A very famous people is Hannibal. Yeah, and I and I searched the Hannibal on the Google, and I know the history about the the car car the. And I think it's very best in, the, in this tourist and I'm very happy to be here. I think he is a nice person and he very nice, uh, very close for me. He's just I'm the foreigners in here and they very like me. <laughs> Thank you. Tunisia aims to attract over 100,000 Chinese visitors in the coming years and experts believe this could contribute more on the Tunisia local economy. New flights will arrive from Beijing in the next few weeks. Chinese tourists are among the best clients in the world. Increasing the number of Chinese visitors to Tunisia is a priority for tourism professionals in both countries. Less than three years after the 2015 terror attack in the Baldo Museum, Tunisia is again a safe destination for foreign and local tourists. Chinese tourists usually spend around a week in Tunisia. That's enough time to see the main attractions. Locals are hoping Chinese travelers will discover the beauty of Tunisia and revive the tourism industry, its main source of foreign exchange. Adnan Shewishi, CGTN, Tunis.